Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss overloading binary operator. In our previous lecture we have discussed about operator overloading concept and we have learned how to create operator function and then we have seen one example of overloading addition operator that is also one binary operator. So continuing with the same example we are having class complex with two members real and imaginary I have created one default constructor that is initializing real and imaginary as zero one parameterized constructor that is initializing real and imaginary with x and y one display member function that is displaying value of real and imaginary over here now this is our operator function here we have written this function to overload operator addition suppose if I want to compare these two object I will use equal equal operator that is relational operator that is used to compare two operands but now I want to compare two objects so let us overload this equal equal operator so in this operator function I am going to change the symbol first of all and I am changing the definition a little bit I am comparing the real value of object c1 so here I am calling this operator function using c1 so I can directly refer real value by writing real I want to compare real of c2 so c2 is copied to x so if I write x dot real it will be real value of c2 object and and I want to compare imaginary value of object c1 and imaginary value of object c2 that is referred by x dot image if both are equal I will return value 1 else I will return value 0 now no need of temporary object over here so I am removing it here it is returning some integer value so return type will be some integer so if I write this it will automatically call the definition over here and real and imaginary value of object c1 and c2 will be compared if both are same it will return 1 else it will return 0 so if both are same I would be printing object members having same value else I would be printing different so if I execute this code first of all it will create two object that is c1 with parameters 4 and 7 so real and imaginary will be 4 and 7 then it will create object c2 with parameters 5 and 8 now I am comparing the real and imaginary values over here so operator function will return for this case 0 and it will display object members having different values let us execute this code object members having different values if I make this value similar object members having same values so this is the way how you can overload binary operator there are several operators you can overload like addition subtraction multiplication division all the operators mentioned over here can be overloaded operator overloading is also called compile time polymorphism because it takes decision at the time of compilation that what operation to be performed with the binary operator so we know very well that how to write operator function and how to invoke binary operator suppose you are having operator function like this then this can be invoked with two methods first of all in function notation in that you are supposed to write object one dot operator and your operator function symbol here symbol can be any binary operator and you are supposed to pass object 2 or you can say operand 2 as argument and another notation is operator notation and that is to be used while operator overloading concept so object 1 your symbol and object 2 so we are supposed to write object 1 plus object 2 for this operator function so next let us discuss operator overloading using friend function in operator overloading concept we used to make operator function and that function is very similar to member function so as we can convert 
member function to friend function just by writing friend keyword before the definition same way we can convert operator function to friend function just writing friend before the definition of function so here important thing is that how to invoke friend function in operator overloading we are supposed to write keyword operator then symbol and we'll pass two object as argument this is function notation but in case of operator overloading we write operator notation and it will be similar that we have performed earlier that is object one then your operator symbol and object two here we are having operator function for overloading operator addition we have just converted to friend function by writing friend keyword before this definition now here in our previous case we have passed only one object as argument but in case of friend function we are supposed to pass two object as argument why because friend function is not member of class so it will not called by object over here so it will take these two object as argument and it will be called by its name or we can say operator notation let us see a program to clear this concept here we are having operator function to convert this into friend function i am just writing keyword friend over here and passing two objects here it will be x dot real x dot imaginary and i am converting this to y dot real and y dot imaginary so now to call this friend function we are just writing keyword operator and we will pass c1 and c2 as object why because friend function cannot be invoked by object because it is not part of class complex so let us execute this program it will be displaying the addition of real and imaginary values of object c1 and c2 but in case of operator overloading we will write operator notation so it will be similar like our previous case that is c1 plus c2 here let us comment this code it is displaying the addition of real and imaginary values so here compiler will automatically resolve the arguments and call to the friend function we need to write just here operator notation thank you